Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Untamed Life of a Cougar. Unfortunately, this is not a game about uh, trying to pick up young men as an older woman in shady bars. This is a game about being a cougar out in the wilds and doing cougar things, like probably eating other animals and or attacking <laughs> campers. Now, cougars probably don't usually encounter campers too often, but uh, yeah, this is a... It's a nature game, about being a nature thing, which means it falls into my kind of wheelhouse, and uh, I thought we'd take a look at it, especially since it is heavily discounted right now and does not look very good. I mean, just look at this wonderful menu. Anyhow, let's uh, start up a new game here. Oh, alright, we can uh, select our cougar, or at least our cougar piece for this cougar role-playing game. Ugh. Alright, not too many choices. Let's go with the classic brown because it looks the worst. Alright, do we want a tutorial or do we just want to get right into being a cougar? I think we probably need a tutorial. I don't really know too much about being a cougar. Alright, here we are in the uh, Cougar Wildlife Preserve, I guess. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Move the mouse to turn and look around. I think we've got that down pat. Cougar does not move very quickly by default. Alright, now we're trotting. We can sprint, we can jump. Not very high though. M to toggle map on and off. What a great map. Drawn by his four-year-old. We can make bird whistles to call our cub. Alright, so this is even closer to another game that I don't want to mention, but I'll probably be taking a look at. Alright, we can pick up our little shit. Puma cub. Wait, I thought we were a cougar, not a puma. Baby cub, 10 days to grow up, and then 12 days as an active cub to become... Wait, okay, so... At 10 days, it becomes a baby? A baby becomes an active? It, I don't know. It grows up, I guess. Alright, so we do have to babysit our cub as a cougar. Here's a bunch of keys that don't help me at all. Uh, combat mode. Pounce, paw swipe. Uh, that seems like the only thing we really need to worry about otherwise. Man, these are <laughs> some uh, pretty sweet UI. Alright. Go to the den. Oh, I guess I don't need to call it because I'm already carrying it. The den is this giant snowflake. Because why wouldn't it be? Cougars are well known for their icy abodes. That have gone far too long without the touch of a man. It did say blue arrow to continue, right? Press... Oh, okay. This is... Kinda weird. It's weird how some of these are just pop-ups and some of them are like the whole fucking screen is a tutorial screen. Are those bats? Is that how they prove that it's nighttime? Alright, so this doesn't seem to do much, and also puts us in first person with the stupid cub in our face. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Alright, so we have a lock on if we need it.
Alright, let's see if I can <laughs> remember how to turn that off. Go to the deer. Okay, let's just leave this stupid kid here for now. Oh, bye. I guess this is the den. den? Alright. To the deer, which is the also giant snowflake. Which is also in the sky, I guess. Alright, let's stalk the fuck out of this deer. Okay, this kind of looks like some sort of putting camera. Okay, the deer detected me even though I wasn't moving. That's cool. Well, I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you'll probably know I'm not very good at stealthily hunting things. Be they man or beast. That cub is gonna die of starvation. Cause it's gonna take me too long to figure out how to successfully hunt this deer. And this is about without even having to take in consideration like our scent on the wind, uh, you know, alerting the deer because it's downwind of us. And cougars are probably pretty smelly. Follow the guide arrow. Take two steps. Deer runs away. This is the best tutorial. I don't think I skipped over anything. It's pretty much just C to crouch. Q to change your speed while you're crouched. And I'm going at like the slowest crouch speed here. Maybe I'm not crouching soon enough. Even though I wasn't even moving and it was still freaking out. Like, I'm in the long grass, but I don't think that does anything at all. Look, it just walks towards me and then runs away. Fuck it. We're going full speed, we're gonna fucking pounce on it. Except it has more stamina than I do. Well, I hope you all are all having fun at home, because I am just having a blast with this deer hunt. I feel like we might get him in the next 20 or 30 minutes. Or die of starvation like our cub is. Can we hunt like a, a rabbit or something? Something less competent? I like, too, that it doesn't even say, like, stalk the deer or, you know, sneak up on or anything. It's, go to the deer, follow the arrow, do the thing. Alright, I'm so far away that the deer is outside of draw distance. So hopefully it won't see me. And of course, unlike a real deer, this deer just walks in completely random directions at all times. 
Nikki, it's kind of hard to tell where it's looking. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's looking completely away from me. Oh, and look, it turned around and then started hopping like- what? Also, it looks like you can't pounce when you're, uh... You can't pounce when you're crouched, so I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to jump the damn thing. I noticed that blue bar that I thought was the hunger meter, because I didn't actually read that diagram, I guess. What the hell is it doing? Is that what deer do when you pursue them? When they're being hunted by a predator? They just start hopping? God, this would be so much easier if we were a wolf, because then we'd have a pack. None of this solitary cat nonsense. I have just enough stamina to get up on it, and then I run out. Seriously, what the hell is it doing? Is it broken? Is that why it's just jumping forever now? I think the jumping is actually making it go slower. Oh man. It's not easy being a cougar. Or a puma. Are they the same thing? I think they might actually be. I, I might have been mistaken there. I think cougar is just kind of a colloquialism more than the actual species name. Along with mountain lion. Or maybe mountain lion's different. I don't know. I don't know too much about uh, North American big cats. Kind of always more interested in Servals and caracals and, you know, other African cats. Alright, this time I've got the- oh, fuck, the camera is so sensitive when it switches to the overhead mode. So I try to turn a little bit and I just like spin around 360. Come on. Uh, why won't you sprint now? Alright, my sprint seems to have gotten really slow. Man. There. <laughs> Knock that deer the fuck out. So, have my hunger just been filling up on its own? Yep, just drag this entire ragdoll deer back to the nest. Come here, stupid kitty, I gotta feed you. So I don't know about you, but I didn't really learn too much about hunting deer from that experience. Mm. 
Yo, we get out of here, birds. I haven't even had my fill yet. And like a good predator, we leave it out there to rot and, you know, get used up by the rest of the ecosystem. A lot of dangers in the wild, you gotta get good at fighting. Strafing, strafing. Alright, so we may have to bite a bear's nose. Enemies regenerate if you don't kill them. Go to the wolf. Kill the wolf. Stay there, stupid. Mommy's gonna go find you some wolf to eat again. Quick snack. I wonder if that deer will ever decompose or if that's just permanently food now. I wonder what that honking sound is. Alright, let's kill this, uh, what, Omega wolf? It's been cast out from its pack. Oh, Jesus. It's like some sort of psychotic fighting game. This... I can't move normally, I can just strafe. Man, the skill on display there. What? Where'd you come from? So, the fighting in this game is fucking terrible. I don't know if I really conveyed that message, but uh, if not, there you go. Yeah, fuck that fox. What do you know? And this music just randomly kicks in. You know, I... I don't normally say this, but like, visually this looks like it could have been an N64 game. Like, what is with this crazy ass, like, draw distance fog? Oh, what? Okay. I didn't get a chance to read that. Alright, so whoever we bang the most is determining our color. Oh, Jesus. What is this? Red tree! Are those love sites? And then there are just random, like, squiggles? And some hearts? Alright, well, I played, uh, Tokyo Jungle, so I at least know what the hearts mean. Whichever one has the most hearts is the one that will produce the most cubs. And if it has black hearts, it has some sort of animal STD. And before we can use the mating site in each zone, we have to mark the five territories. I guess. Are these just, um, den sites? Bang nests? Oh boy. It's okay, cats always land on their feet. There's a uh, enemy cougar nearby. Yep, let's just blast it with piss, and now it's ours. Now, 
what is attacking this bison? No, not me. I didn't do it. There's like a, a fox or something running around. Alright, where are we at at the mate situation? There's apparently a mate nearby. Hey, Kuga bro. Let's make some Kuga babies. Do we have to mate 30 times? Ugh. Alright. I guess we are, uh, more of an on top kind of bitch. I guess it wouldn't be a bitch if it's a cougar, it would be whatever the female equivalent is. Yeah, target the rabbit. That's what I wanted to do. So what, do I have to mate 30 times before I can have cougarlings? My own little, uh, litter. Ah, so majestic. Yep, that's how cougars work. They can basically just fly up mountains. Also, this is not me intentionally doing this with the camera. I can't move it while that's happening. Alright, I can't jump all the way up. Look, there's our lover. Yep, this is how mating works. The female steps on top of the male and just sort of sits there. Come here, stupid. Oh, Jesus. Are these cougars fighting for my attention? What was the other... Camera... Key... Come here, fox. Can I just hammer this button? Man, when this started, do you think you were going to watch two cats fuck 30 times? Also, Jesus Christ. Fucking infested with bats here. Like, I'm sure the, uh, the developer wanted to be like, Hey, it's nighttime, there are bats, it's the forest, but... I think they went a little overboard on the bats thing. Oh, which one of you just die already? This even sounds like a golden eye thing. What, you want some? I'll have you know I am a champion spammer. Oh, there's a pack of them this time. Oh, 
Well, everybody knows that a single cougar can take on an entire pack of wolves. It's just nature, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Giant eagle. Why was there a giant fucking eagle that came down? Well, I died. And I guess I can't load game, because that doesn't do anything at all. What if I just hit start game? There are also hunters to worry about. Yeah, so this seems pretty much the same. So the, I guess we were already in the game. And it's just like, hey, you should probably find a mate. So you can have some cubs to take care of. So I guess that's really all there is to Untamed, the life of a cougar. So, uh, maybe we should call it here. Yeah, we heard about that. Because I don't think we're really going to see anything grander than the majesty of cougar mating followed by wolf fighting. I think that's, uh, that's really it. I should probably point out, too, that this game is about $15 on Steam, so it's not exactly some cheap little indie release. I mean, I guess that is cheap, but for this quality, I wouldn't say that that is a fair price. But again, this is uh, heavily discounted during the Steam Black Friday weekend or whatever they want to call it, exploration sale. So it wasn't really too pricey. Anyhow. I've been Shadefire, and this is Untamed, Life of a Cougar. As I said, there is another game similar to this, which I might take a look at, you know, just after this to kind of contrast and compare them, because I think that one might be a little bit better, and pretty much the same price. Till then, you folks take care.